Cancer, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not tarot? My name is Cock Frost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. So Cancer, I'm here to do your August slash general slash love reading, my G. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it, so if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet, Cancer. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind that this may or may not resonate with every single Cancer. Get no fit nugs. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our uh, community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. It is currently under construction. Dell. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your hand on the way out. Hit that link. You'll be back in turn. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases to my website, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you. Cancer. What's going on, Booski? Somebody driving around with their dog. Your dog is so cute. I don't know. It's like a golden retriever or just a gold type of dog. This could be a short, like, kind of hot dog. Not a hot dog. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> I swear I've been saying weird ass shit. It started in Aquarius and shit. And you the last one I got to do. So I'm glad I got goofy towards the end. But no, that's not even funny. It's really hot. Do not leave your dog in the car. Okay? <laughs> or maybe your dog is just cute. Uh, I used to call my dog Brad Pitt because he was just fine for a dog. You know what I mean? Like, so it could just be like you have a hot dog uh, or something like that. But I, I'm also picking up on a dog that's panting. But what I was trying to say is like, um, like the, the long dogs, like the wiener dogs is what I meant. Like, you know, some short kind of dog, kind of long in length, but he's cute or she. I don't know. That went totally off <laughs> subject. Okay. I guess don't leave your pets in the car. Leave them with plenty of fresh water cancer. I'm sure you know this. But there may be somebody around you doesn't. It could be your children, okay? And it's hot in August, okay? Anyway, somebody may be trying to dictate, like, your movements, Cancer, or you may be trying to do this, like, where someone goes, how they, unless it's your kids, then yes. If this is not your kids, I still feel like someone's trying to dictate that, okay? I feel like whoever's trying to dictate this uh, gets pushed or ran right the fuck over, yeah, and you about to get ran the fuck over. Yeah, move, bitch. Get out the way. You could be in traffic, uh, cancer. <laughs> I don't know where you're going. Uh, somebody could be listening to Ludacris or something like that. Traffic control. Somebody could work for traffic control or something like that. I don't even know if that's a real thing. Is it traffic control? Air traffic control. Thank you. I'm like, it's got to be another word with that. Okay. Somebody could like land planes or something. Like air. I don't know. Something like that. Some of y'all can just work in transportation, Cancer. Uh, some of you guys drive uh, for a living, okay? And you like, uh, so it is controlled. Like there's a meter or, you know, mileage and things like that. It, they could be talking about that Uber, Lyft or something like that. Where you're, some, can, like you're, it's dictated where you go, how far you go, distance, things like that, okay? Or this is somebody trying to do that. I don't know. Somebody likes to drive at night, Cancer. They clear their mind. You know, the air does feel better at nighttime. It's so damn high, G. Somebody's dog is in the car. I don't know if that's like, that's my dog. Like, like you know, like my, the homegirl, the homeboy, my, my booski. Or it's literally someone's dog. Or it's, I don't know what it is, Cancer. Okay? Or maybe you may not even know that somebody rolling with you. They showing me like a whole spirit guide now. Like, you know, you may not even know. Whoever rolls at night, there's someone rolling with you either in the flesh or not. Nah. I can't tell, Cancer. I wear my sunglasses at night. Yeah, maybe they're, they're blinding my eyes. I can't tell what it is. So maybe it's both, Cancer. When somebody's not in the passenger seat that's in the flesh, a spirit guide is there. I don't know. To spy on my girlfriend, that's right. Ain't that Wyclef? They done mixed the damn two songs up. Okay. Something about the Fuji. Somebody could be Haitian or some shit. I don't know, Cancer. They just like random. They tired too, I guess. Shit. You know, it has been a long ass day. Maybe you just tired, Cancer. I was picking up on traffic, heat. Maybe you just had to stop and get a hot dog. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't even ate shit. You know, it's like, let me stop and just get a hot dog. I don't know who's eating them, but I guess you could just be on the go, Cancer. It's like, you know. 
or it's just too hot to maybe you're grilling i've been picking up on people grilling and barbecuing and shit uh outside maybe you wait till the sun goes down and you like get out you know you wait yeah it's so hot or you're so hot cancer and movie caliente okay some about carne asada i've been picking that up too a lot it sounds like y'all chilling, Cancer. It sounds like outside, good time. Like once the sun goes down or starts to set, we can go out, chill, grill, hang out, watch the sunset, smoke a doobie, you know, crack open a whatever we're going to drink. Like it feels real chill, Cancer. I don't know if you're with someone or just by yourself. I feel like you enjoy it either way, you know, like you don't mind. And you're real hospitable anyway, you know. So it's like if no one's here, I'm still going to enjoy my beer, my carne asada, and the sunset, period. The moon, something. Yeah, there you go right there, Cancer. You could be going to paint something. Uh, I don't know why I pointed that out. I've had that for a while, not that long. But you could, be, you could be an artist or something or just going to go do something like chill, you know? Give me some messages for Cancer in August. I hope you had a good birthday, Booski. I didn't even say all that. They threw me off with the hot dog. Uh, yeah, it's real hot. This my dehydrated girl card. Let me uh, flip it back over because I wasn't ready. Give me some messages for uh, cancer here. Just make sure you drink a lot of water, cancer. And, and, and you know, moisturize and stuff. Put your sunblock on and all your stuff, okay? You got walking away. This is the queen of wands walking away. This is I'm tired, boss, and I want to quit. And then this one is like, that's it, I quit. <laughs> like, no longer tired, I just quit. Damn, this went fast. So this is like uh, on the verge of something, Cancer. This is like I'm two steps from walking out the door because I'm burnt the fuck out on this shit. And it's like, you one step, two step. <laughs> it's like, and I'm done is what this is, Cancer. You or someone else is done with someone. Someone may be walking away from someone. I have, uh, someone could be getting a divorce as well because this is my uh, kind of like a justice card, but it's more like karma. So number one, there could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius that's about to go through some karma here, uh, Cancer, okay? Uh, that shit's, it's, something's a wrap. Like the spirit guides, God, they tired of fucking with whoever this fire sign is, okay? They like, we tired of you, bitch or motherfucker. It's a wrap on your ass. Whatever that means, we'll dig a little deeper as we move along. This is also uh, somebody that's like, like uh, threatening a divorce or a separation is what this is. And I feel like they're just tired. Like someone, you know, someone could be asking like, well, why do you want to separate divorce or leave? Why do you want to leave and just walk away, give up? And somebody's like, I'm fucking tired. Shit, period. Somebody damn sure need to get some rest, period. Somebody may just pass the fuck out. It's like, I'm no longer fucking tired. I just like literally collapsed and shit. Somebody's exhausted out here, Cancer, for sure. Somebody need to lay the fuck on down. And Virgo had that shit too. Somebody's worried about something too, Cancer, out here. Something has, somebody has something, some type of worry that like sits at the forefront of their brain. Well, let's just go on and wait. I just told, uh, who was that? Aquarius to slow the fuck down. So Cancer, you too, okay? I don't know why they do that around here, but it's, I mean, I guess, I don't know. Let me move on. Anyway, someone has uh, something at the forefront of their brain that they're worried about. Or someone has like going somewhere. This is like, um, so Cancer, let's say you divorced or you separated from someone or whatever, like you're not with anyone. Someone has like that story at the forefront of their brain when they go out with someone else. You know, it's like breaking the ice. So it's like, you don't really wanna tell people like about your last relationship, like all the crazy shit. You know, when you first meet them, it's like, I don't even wanna talk about that motherfucker at all. But eventually this will be a conversation is what this is too. Especially if you're meeting somebody new. This is like, I know I'm gonna have to put it all out there and shit about my past, but I left my past, but I know I'm gonna have to let this person know, like, you know what I mean? What happened or somebody may be worried that someone walks away. Or maybe uh, whatever this is, this could be something that somebody tells someone cancer. Like this could be someone saying, I have, I don't know, some shit. It could be children, it could be 
uh, diabetes, shit. It could be debt. It could be a, a jail record. It could be something. Somebody's like, every time I tell somebody this shit, they just, you know, get tired or they don't even want to work with me or nothing. They just leave. So somebody may have something to tell you cancer that they're not telling you that usually is a, it could be a turnoff or it could be something that makes people walk away. Like, oh no, I can't fuck with that. You know what I mean? Or it could be, I don't know. Somebody could be sick or it's, I don't know what it is. It could be drugs, like a drug habit. You know what I mean? But I feel like it's the past or someone maybe is like dealing with it. It's like, you know, I'm in a program. This could be somebody who's actually going through something. Like I'm in a program right now for, I'm using this as an example. And it's like, I'm, I expect this person to just be like, oh, hell no. Somebody could be expecting you to just be like, I'm not fucking with it, cancer. Or expect you to say that to them. Like, nah, cross watcher, I'm not fucking with it. You know what I mean? Like, that can't do it. Maybe because this person gets rejected a lot because of this or turned down cancer. Something like that. If that's not the case, then this is just someone who's walking away from someone. Someone's walking out and they're separating from someone because they tired of their ass. Period. Damn, Cancer. I'm trying to get the other cards. I'm sorry. I'm not as prepared as I was. On the others. Put something on the lady leaving. Uh, there could be a fire sign uh, under judgment or going to court or jail for some shit. Like, I don't know what the hell they did. This could be fun. I don't know. I well, You don't really go to jail for falling asleep behind the wheel, but maybe they got some type of fees or something. I feel like they crashed into some people. Like somebody, somebody could be narcoleptic. You know what I mean? Somebody shouldn't be driving, but I feel like someone falls asleep behind the wheel and crashes into another car. So somebody may have to go to court. They getting sued. They can't even fight that shit. You know what I mean? Like you were asleep. Like that's, you know, mm -mm. or somebody was sleeping on you, Cancer, or you were sleeping on someone, a uh, fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Libra. You were sleeping on them or they were sleeping on you. It may, that may have caused somebody to walk away too. Like somebody taking too long. Like I'm fucking done, G. Like I'm tired of waiting on this person. Somebody's walking away because they're tired of waiting on someone to get a divorce, separate or something. And they're going to just poop out cancer or you did this or this is happening in august somebody will walk away damn yeah they already tired it's like i can't go another round of this shit you know what i mean this could be somebody like oh i was going to divorce or separate but i need another six months somebody like i ain't got six fucking hours in me shit fuck six months i ain't gonna make it like i don't want to hear that shit this must be a repeat of something this is someone who keeps doing the same thing or saying the same thing cancer and it's getting kind of burnt out g that's what this is. Like, I'm burnt out on that shit. It's what to do what you do, partner, is what this is. Damn. Somebody's walking away, Cancer. Okay? A feminine energy may be walking away. From some masculine energy. Or masculine walking away. It could be two feminines tired of a masculine. Shit. Some two people done broke up with somebody and shit. He lose two people and shit. Everybody tired of them or two men tired of some woman. It's like somebody moves too slow or they, they don't, I don't know what they don't do, Cancer. Let's see. Let me see what they don't do. Because that's why somebody's leaving because they're tired of someone who doesn't fill in the blank. Let's see. Okay. Tables. Shit, maybe they might not come home. This could be somebody who uh, doesn't like uh, contribute to the household. You know what I mean? This is uh, uh, like a four of wands, like 11, 11 type of energy. This could be someone who's realizing they're a karmic energy here because this is like justice card, karma. This is my karma card. This isn't the justice card. This is the karma card with the four of wands. There's a karmic leaving someone, a karmic woman that could be leaving or separating or a karmic man that could be leaving or separating from someone because it's too hard to, to deal with or divine masculine, divine feminine may be separating from a karmic man or woman. But I feel like the karmic man or woman is the one that's getting tired of being in this relationship. Somebody else was already burnt out. So this could be somebody like, I'm just waiting on you to get tired and for you to leave. I don't know why people do that. That irks me a little bit when people do that shit. But this could be one of those situations. So this person, because this one was getting tired. This one is tired. So it's odd that this one's like, well, shit, you leave then. The one that's getting tired. So it's like you give up first. Even though I'm ready to give up, you leave first. That way I can say, tell people you left me. It's like this type of energy, even though this person wants to leave. Something's weird going on about a breakup uh, here, Cancer. It's very odd. Like someone wants someone else to make the first move. They don't want to do it.
I feel like they do. Let's see who it is that's tired, tired. Heavy on the fire here. Heavy Leo Aries Sagittarius. Somebody may uh, get a restraining order put on them for putting their fist on somebody. Somebody may get in trouble for uh, physically abusing someone or goes to jail for fighting someone, Cancer. So be careful. I'm picking that up heavy. Leo Aries Sagittarius energy, Libra energy here. But I'm more so the fire sign that's going to go to jail, okay, for putting their hands on someone. Or coming to someone's house or some shit in the middle of the motherfucking night waking people up. It's like this type of shit. I do see someone leaving someone's concert too. I don't know why, but they're not impressed by the whoever's performing. It's like this shit was whack. You know what I mean? It's like I'm leaving this shit. Like this is like, or somebody never come out on stage. It's like waiting on someone to come out and it's been hours. Like what? We leaving shit. I, look, it's, I, I gotta go to work. That's what this shit is. Somebody gonna have y'all waiting all motherfucking night to see they ass perform. It's people gonna leave. I don't know why this person is not coming out. This person doesn't feel good. Whoever this is, they're either exhausted or they're like sick. But they, they uh, have a contract that they have to do this show. So they're just going to wait it out as long as they can until they ha absolutely have to come out and have a whole crowd waiting on their ass, G. Or we're talking about a relationship where somebody knows somebody's waiting on them to come to them, but they're waiting till things get better or someone else leaves and all this so they can come to someone else. Someone wants to kind of leave someone with their hands not as dirty as they could be if they left. So it's like, if you leave, your hands will be dirtier than mine, even though I really do want to leave you first, but I don't want people looking at me crazy, so you leave. It's like this type of shit. I don't know how long this been going on, Cancer. Yeah, it's giving me indigestion and shit. Like, this probably some shit you've been sitting on. Like, you know, something that ain't, you can't digest uh, is what they're making me feel like. Like, you know, something just sitting there. You know? Like, what the fuck? Somebody getting tired. Somebody about to lose somebody from keeping them waiting, Cancer, for sure. Like, somebody's this. I mean, it's already in August. It's a wrap. Whoever has somebody waiting on someone, like a divine, if a divine masculine has a divine feminine waiting or a divine feminine has a divine masculine waiting because they're in a relationship waiting on a karmic person to leave them or some karmic situation or whatever, <clears throat> they're about to lose the divine counterpart if they haven't lost them already. The divine counterpart's already tired. In August, they, they're done. Damn. Who we? Who went on the tired ass? I'm done with you now, lady. Yeah, they've reached their peak. Like, that's that's all I can do in this damn show in August. Ooh we? It could be dealing with a Leo as well. Or this could involve, you could be a Cancer Leo Cusper as well. If you're a Cancer Leo Cusper, you damn sure burnt out on whatever the fuck was going on. It could be you're in a relationship with somebody who's a uh, karmic. You could be in a karmic relationship with someone, family, lover, or something. But it's something that someone's tired of, they want to separate from, they want to divorce or whatever. Uh, and everybody in this situation feels like this, but someone's waiting on someone else to make the first move. Maybe somebody's waiting on somebody else to find housing. It says, I found it. I found a house. You know what I mean? Or something like that. I don't know if they make it in time or they, it's, it's like the tippy, tippy top. And maybe somebody makes it to like get to somebody else or some shit like that. I, what's on this side? I don't know what that is. Trees. Yeah, somebody could just smoke weed all day and it's every day, not all day. Yeah, that's why somebody's so tired. Heavy Libra out here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Something about matchsticks and matches or fires or some shit. I've been picking up on that shit, too. Somebody can't bear something anymore. Who else had that uh, bear and grinning? Taurus had this energy. I don't have Taurus's uh, energy out here, but Taurus had that bear and grinning energy, and I'm getting that, too. Like, somebody's, like, been dealing with something as long as they can, and I feel like they're getting tired. So I feel like someone maybe may have been trying to outlast someone else. Like, I'm not leaving, you leave. It could be one of them situations. I'm not leaving, you leave. And this person really does want to leave this one, but they're like, I'm not leaving, you leave. And I feel like this one leaves, the karmic energy leaves. I feel like both of you motherfuckers are acting karmic, to be honest with you. I'm picking no one side here, uh, Cancer, because this shit real fucking childish. I can't stay nowhere, motherfucker just can't be. <laughs> I know that came out weird, but I mean, it's like I, my, my spirit. Like, I can't fucking do it. Like, if I'm tired, 
uh, this is enough for me to make. So somebody could feel like me right now because I'm like, this will be enough. I'm already tired. I got to get the fuck on. This is somebody who can, has to wait till they pass out, depleted, everything before they like leave or they're waiting on someone else to do it or some shit like that, Cancer. Both people want out of this shit, though. I do know that. Somebody could be Hawaiian or Pacific Islander. Somebody could be sleeping on an island. That's dope as fuck, whoever that is. Or someone feels alone. Like someone doesn't even sleep in the bed with the person. It's like I feel uh, they could be on the couch. This is like I'm in the den. You know what I mean? On a recliner. It's like I feel like I sleep in a fucking island. Like I don't even sleep with this person. Somebody out here is like damn near just a fucking roommate. This could just be regular family though. Uh, cancer. And y'all not getting along. This could be mama, daddy, brother, sister, uncle, cousin, whatever the fuck. And it's like I need to get the fuck up out of here, G. Like I'm at my wit's end. And maybe this could be somebody saying, well, if you don't like it here, you can leave. And you're like, I'm fucking trying to. Shit. Somebody is trying to get the fuck out of something. This could be somewhere uh, that someone is staying or they're staying somewhere just in, so till they get something else. Whatever this is, someone's trying to get housing or it feels like housing or just get stable. Get on my feet. You know what I mean? Get a, get a leg up in this bitch. They get it in August, whoever this is. But they are like super tired and burnt out. Somebody working hard as fuck here too. Somebody out here is a security guard or like a, a police officer, a sheriff, because that's my, someone's name is Sharif, but that's my sheriff card as well. But someone's also like a, a secret service agent or a, they stand guard or a security or some shit like that. Someone guard, bodyguard, some woman here as well, like all night, all day, like from sun up to sundown, somebody secures some woman. So I don't know if it's spiritual security or if it's uh, literally like muscle. Eight is the strength card. Like literally there are Leo watches over someone or is protecting you uh, cancer here too. And somebody's mad that someone's protecting someone or I don't know, or taking care of someone. Some weird ass shit. But I'm, I'm picking up heavy security out here. Like that's someone's job. Like to stand outside someone's house or just wherever they go while someone goes inside. Someone out here is a celebrity. Heavy fireside, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, celebrity out here. Possibly a Libra. Heavy on the Leo as well. Or it's you, Cancer. Like you could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. I don't know. Or somebody needs security while they move out. Whoever's leaving may be. Who had that? Somebody had that where the man was standing outside. Uh, it, I think it was Gemini. Uh, one of these cards, it was a, uh, somebody standing outside. So it was like somebody getting evicted and the sheriff was outside. You know what I mean? Like I'm tired of like dealing with this domestic shit. I really need a new fucking job, says the sheriff. This could be coming like to some domestic. This is the sheriff's coming to someone's house for a physical altercation. But I'm also picking up that the sheriff needs to be there while someone gets their shit and leaves. I don't know what, what the hell, cancer. It's going down in August, okay? heavy with this leo here or this just really happens in august and it involves a libra leo aries sagittarius uh some shit i don't even have you out here cancer unless you have a lot of fire in your fucking chart okay somebody wants to get away this is like a getaway from this, whatever all this is. Some house, they wanna like just get away and like on their own. They gonna sleep better and everything. Whoever's leaving or once this situ, let's just say once these two people or this situation breaks up or separates, uh, everybody gets some real decent rest. I can definitely like say that. Like everybody gets some sleep. It's like a bunch of tension in the home, people uptight and shit uh, is what this is. Damn. Somebody's definitely not sleeping well, or it's either because they're not sleeping in an actual bed, or it's just hard to sleep next to who they're sleeping next to, or they're, they're I don't know where they sleep, shit, if they sleep at all, shit. Could be dealing with an Aquarius as well, uh, Cancer. This could be an Aquarius that's just burnt out and tired of some shit, or a Leo. Or uh, Gemini Libra as well with the birds and the boat. So that's Aquarius and then you got Gemini Libra here or Leo. Somebody's about to give up. Or it's you, Cancer. Like, I'm tired of waiting on someone, you know? Damn. Okay. 
three of pentacles. Somebody could just work a lot. It's like somebody working a lot. Somebody could be leaving someone. It's like all you do is work. You never come home. I never see you. We're not, you know what I mean? What kind of household is this shit? What kind of family is this? What kind of relationship is this? I feel like somebody may stay gone a lot and stay at work a lot because they don't like to be with whoever this is. But they use work as an excuse, like, oh, I got to go to work, oh, I'm at work. But I feel like they're not really into this, whoever this is, this man or this woman, because it is still a karmic relationship. So someone's way of getting out of karmic relationship temporarily is to stay at work. They're always at work. Uh, cancer, you or someone else, they never come home or they come home real late at night when everybody's sleeping and shit. When it's like quiet, I can have my alone time. Someone out here is avoiding someone they want to leave, period, point blank. They could be married to this person, Hierophant. It could be a Taurus. I said that. <laughs> I got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So I don't know if all y'all live in the house or this is people that work together, you know, but it doesn't feel like, it feels like, nah. This could have been like roommates, like we all plan to live together, split the rent, split something. It could be something like that. Or this is a relationship or something like that. Someone decided to work on a relationship with the karmic energy and now they don't want to be there uh, and they want to leave this person, but they don't really know how to leave this person. So meanwhile, back at the ranch, I'll just go to work. Yeah, I'm just going to make some money till I figure out how to get the fuck out of here. Or, or really express it. Because I feel like this person could leave. It's just, I'm, they don't know how. Maybe they're married, like I said, have kids and all that shit. Hierophant. Have a home and all that. And they can't. But this person damn sure does not come home. Or doesn't like to come home. They work as much as long as the office is open. This person is there. Okay? Even if it's no, no work to do, they're going to find something. Okay? They're going to take a nap there. This person probably has a couch or something in their office, whoever this is, has a TV and everything, a fridge, whoever this is, man or woman, that's avoiding going home, they have home essentials in their office or wherever they work or at someone else's house or in a car or something, but it feels like a job. So this could be a business owner, an entrepreneur and shit. They got clothes, everything they need is at that bitch. I don't feel like it's a shower there though, so they like, damn, I got to go get to the water. I hope so. Somebody may be trying to figure out where they can sleep. Like, I can't keep doing that, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's cool, but that's like some shit if you have to work late. Like, if you got a late night Zoom meeting. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm going to order some Grubhub, watch some TV, take a nap on the couch, wake up, and get back to my desk. Like, yes. This is somebody that, like, live at work, G. Like, this is like a business suite uh, here with the fountain and everything. It's like their job, and someone sleeps there four wands so they don't have to come home this is somebody's girlfriend wife coming or husband or boyfriend coming to look for them and shit at the job and shit somebody could be a police officer and they're just on duty all the time but i don't feel like they really have to be there that much they may say that and who's gonna challenge that a police officer like yeah i have to work extra hours what you gonna dispute that shit i don't feel like he really does or she they just don't want to be home or whoever the fuck this is oh we or it's a fight that pops off at someone's job, place of employment. I see the police being called to some business or some shit like that, Cancer. Or there's a plan to fight someone or jump someone here. Uh, whatever this shit is, it's burnt the fuck. I see why somebody don't come to fuck home and fuck with these people or fuck with this shit. It's like ratchet. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like I would go to fucking work too. Like, man, I don't, you know, at least, at least there's money there. This feels like there's nothing popping here or it's just real toxic or something. I don't know. Uh, put, put something on her, the past out lady. <clears throat> Knight of Swords here. Heavy Aquarius over here, Libra, Gemini, uh, Leo with this energy. Yeah, somebody's looking for a getaway or some peace and quiet privacy. Uh, heavy on this air sign and like I said this Leo somebody doesn't like to that's why I was like Ugh. if somebody doesn't like to be involved in drama somebody could be separated from someone because of the shit I just described about fights and the police and all this other shit going on like somebody like nah I can't do it I'm burnt out on that type of shit already like just hearing about it just you talking about it hearing about it makes me want to leave uh someone likes peace here uh, cancer. I'm, it's you. You know what I mean? I don't even have your energy out here. So you must have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, uh, or Leo in your chart. Okay? If you have Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo in your chart, 
or Libra in your chart, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you could be on this petty shit. I don't know. It's kind of all mixed up, but I don't have you out here. So you have to have this in your chart somewhere. Or this is the reason why someone hasn't come to you and that's why you tired. You're like, you know what? I'm just looking for some peace and quiet anyway. I don't need that shit. Like, I, I got a whole bunch of other shit I need to be figuring out, says Cancer. You know what I mean? I got other shit I got to need to be tending to, taking care of. I got other plans, big dreams and shit. I ain't got time for that shit. So some of y'all getting tired of waiting on somebody who's involved in some real low vibrational ass relationship, basically, Cancer. And it's just like, you got other shit that you really could be tending to, possibly other suitors. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's other fish in the sea, baby, is what I had heard. Yes, yeah, fishies down there. Could be a Pisces also that wants to just some peace and quiet. I didn't see the fish, but I heard there's other fish in the sea. So, yeah. So, a Pisces, Leo, Cancer. I mean, yes, you. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Leo. Yeah, somebody wants to just be left the fuck alone, G. And I get it. It feels real, like... Like people trying to do too much on this side. You know what I mean? Trying to figure out who they are, where they going, what they going to do, what they like. It's like, it's too much. Maybe somebody is responsible for a lot of people who don't know who the fuck they are or what they're doing or where we're going with this. And it's fucking draining, G. That's what this is too, because I'm fucking drained, Cancer. For real, reading this shit. But it's from this side, this household or this group or this people you work with or this family. That shit, I... This is why somebody like, I could live on the island by myself, listen to rap music, eat watermelon and tacos, and smoke weed for the rest of my life. That is the dream, G. You know what I mean? Like, for real. You know what I mean? And be perfectly fine. Like, it's perfect. Uh, someone has what needs a vacation here, Cancer, for sure. Okay? You may be looking at vacation spots or something to get away, or just need a break. Cancer is suggesting that. Okay? I thought maybe uh, someone was leaving a karmic partner go towards a divine partner here. It still could be that. But if this is the divine counterpart, this person is already starting to look outside. You know what I mean? Of whatever this is that someone has been waiting on. That's why I said I feel like someone kind of gives up here. Uh, cancer too. Yeah, the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the day. Yeah, it's like it's other shit out there. Like I need to go looking obviously and move on because I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is what you're saying. Like, if I keep looking back, it's the same shit back there. And I need to keep looking forward, says Cancer. Or whoever this is, Cross Watcher. Damn. Yeah, this is, I'm like talking about drain, Cancer. Like, fuck. I don't know if you have had this conversation with this person over and over and over. Or if you're with the people or the person in this relationship, this karmic one here. And it's like that fucking draining. Like, fuck. Like, as soon as I pull in the driveway, a motherfucker just drained. You know what I mean? Like, I do not want to go inside or none of that shit. That's how I feel. Like, as soon as I pull up in the driveway, like, here we go. You know? Like, as soon as I get in this motherfucker, they meet me at the front door with that bullshit. Like, you know? Like, it feels like that. Like, I didn't even get to, like, eat uh, nothing. Like, as soon as I'm there, it's like, can you do this? Fix this? Where you been? Like, this type of shit. Like, fuck. It feels like a to-do list all the time. And somebody's like, I'd rather be doing shit at my real fucking job. Like, a relationship shouldn't feel like no fucking job. That's what's the problem here, Cancer. Someone feels like their relationship is an actual job and shit. And somebody burnt out on that shit. And someone wants to go somewhere where it's peaceful, quiet, almost like a paradise. You know, someone's been looking for that. Oh, who went down here? Look at him. Somebody want out of this shit quick, Cancer. I'm talking about fast. Somebody may want to sleep with somebody else, too. Uh, you know, this is don't plant her garden and don't smell her flower, but somebody is like, fuck that. I am. Somebody may be, I was wondering if it was a divine counterpart somewhere. Yeah, closer to my dreams. If it's not that, this is something that's starting to bloom or bud or, you know what I mean? A dream is coming true and somebody's like, until it comes true and it's like in the palm of my hand, I'll be at work. You know what I mean? Somebody like, I don't even want to live here, be here, sit here until this is like somebody who could be waiting on some money. You know what I mean? Like I'm waiting on a lump sum of money. And instead of waiting wherever this is, where they could be, you know what I mean? Wherever this is, they're like, I'll just wait at work till I get the money. And then when I get the, I'll be looking for my new place, waiting on the money. When the money comes, then I'll just go to the new place. Somebody has a plan out here, cancer. I don't even want to give up too much, but I just keep hearing I'm at work. I'll be at work. So, 
I don't know, cancer. Shit, me too. Shit, now. I was just talking about how damn day, the, how damn day. See? <laughs> I don't know, cancer. You could have Libra in your chart or some shit like that. I did say that. But that's how it is. Uh, getting all tongue-tied and shit. Like, I was trying to say... I don't even remember now, cancer. Okay? Something about a long day at work. I know that's what I was, like, referring to, but I don't know what the context of the, the sentence was going to be. And I'm not about to try to figure it out, Cancer, okay? So I feel like you need some sleep. I need some sleep. We all need some sleep. You need to probably sleep in the bed and not on your desk <laughs> at your job, eating flame broiler, uh, some type of teriyaki chicken or some shit like that. Somebody order, somebody likes the teriyaki chicken out here or some type of something with a teriyaki glaze on it. Okay, I feel like whoever that is eats that a lot with rice. Okay, or salmon, teriyaki salmon or chicken with rice. This person eats this all the time. Uh, nothing against it, I guess, but it's just like, yeah, somebody needs a real meal, a bed, a home. Like this is someone's life until they can get something moving. I don't know, Cancer. Anyway, that's been your reading, G. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single cancer. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. I'm not tripping or not tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me to get on them. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your to you gear and your tune-in deck at thegetonline.com. And I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.